PC WizKid here. I wanted to review something a little bit on the value added side for you. For 2019, you know, maybe you're on a budget and you want to upgrade your PC, but you don't want to spend a lot of money. Well, Time Tech has the value RAM that you can add to your laptop or your desktop for your Mac or your PC. They've got a variety of memory modules, DDR3 and DDR4. I've got a couple of kits here to show you. Key thing here, as you can see, made in the USA, so they assemble it here. So there's some pride there going into knowing that you're buying a product that is made in your USA uh, country. And, uh, well, essentially, the two modules here that I've got uh, to upgrade are pretty standard. 1600 megahertz CL 11 times uh, 8 gig um, modules here, as you can see, for laptops. And that's using the TimeTech chip as you can see right there and uh, essentially it's pretty simple and straightforward when it comes to upgrading a laptop whether it's a Mac or a PC first things first always you know you have to follow the instructions online on opening up appropriately your laptop to access the uh, memory module bay now it varies per laptop right in this case you can see it's pretty straightforward here I took out the cover and there it was exposed and I just installed the modules uh, other laptops might have it slightly different and harder to get to depending on the laptop notebook that you have depending whether it's a Mac or a PC things might be set up differently but the memory is still uh, pretty much compatible now when it comes to uh, desktops I've got a 16 gig DDR4 kit here 2133 uh, megahertz as you can see there CL 15 times again using the time tech chip uh, on there so you can see and you know that you are getting something that's proprietary something that is uh, a time tech um, memory and it is value RAM so keep that in mind right there's no heat sinks on here there's no fancy uh, RGB lighting going on it's straightforward memory just like the good old days uh, for you to uh, install in your home PC and you can see here I installed it in this desktop installs great looks fine there's no heat sinks on that but maybe you've got enough fans there to blow some uh, cool air on it so you don't really need any heat sinks on the memory modules and you're not overclocking it so you're good as well so there's an example of me installing it now when it comes to benchmarks well they're mainstream uh, memory modules so you're gonna get mainstream results let's be honest now here I have it installed in this Intel Core i7 7700K system, an older system that needed an upgrade, and so I got the uh, value RAM to upgrade it on this gigabyte board and uh, give it a little bit of a boost. It had eight gigs originally, now it's got 16 gigs of DDR4 memory, so there you go. Um, popped it in there, and it's running at uh, CL 15 times. You can see here on this eight gig memory module that I have selected, the uh, different types of uh, memory timings that it supports and uh, and the default one like I said CL15 is what I've got it uh, running at in this machine now in ADA64 these benchmarks are kind of showing us a little bit how it's doing running it again at default I'm not overclocking anything because uh, that's pretty much the way I want to do it um, in the CPU Queen there's some results of the entire system working together with the CPU and the uh, gigabyte board. And then the timings, the latency. It's not necessarily the fastest, but it is pretty pretty good here scoring compared to another system also running an Intel Core i7-7700K. So it is fairly fast compared to that other system. So that's pretty impressive there. Now here are some PC Mark 10 scores. So you can get an overall sense of how the system performed with this memory and how it compares also to um, you know these other systems not bad at all considering the you know this uh, machine isn't the latest and greatest it's using some older hardware and it still performs very nicely for today for today's games and, and such so not bad you know when comparing the results of an older system giving it a boost with some more memory and comparing it to another machine with different memory in it um, here you can see also the performance test 9.0, the results there, and also how it compares the system with this memory to other memory modules uh, as well. So you can see here, not bad, not bad. I mean, uh, there are faster memory modules out there. Again, this is not necessarily meant for overclocking. There's no heat uh, shields on this, so no heat sinks, but great 
you know, value RAM from TimeTech. Usually, you know, if you want to buy something like this, you can obviously go to the TimeTechInc.com website, but you can also get good deals for the same memory on Amazon. So here's a link, for example, um, to Amazon and all the different types of memory modules that they have on sale there. So if you're looking uh, for some deals, uh, you might want to go to uh, Amazon.com right there and uh, take a peek and see what it is that uh, you need for your next uh, upgrade option on your system. So comment below. Let me know what you think. Have you already bought this uh, TimeTech uh, Made in USA memory before or is this the first time you hear from it? Again, I'd like to thank TimeTech for providing it. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.